our good friend, Congressman Peter Boswaski. Lee, thank you very much, and I would want to add my uh, thank you uh, to his, as far as all of those who have taken the initiative, uh, taken the effort, uh, as well as acted as sponsors, uh, to bring us all together today uh, on a very important issue uh, relative to the future of Northwest Indiana and our economic success. Uh, the fact uh, that we have uh, my good friend and a person I have a profound respect for, uh, Secretary of Transportation Ray LaHood here today, uh, tells you everything you need to know about the transportation resources we do have. Because as I remind audiences, uh, there are over 40 railroads who do business in the state of Indiana. We are the crossroads of this great country. Uh, I also describe Lake and Porter County, Indiana, as a place if you want to get around the largest body of fresh water on the planet Earth, and you're a railroad, you have to go through this area, and we are foolish if we do not maximize that resource. It is one of the privileges of my life to have worked with Ray LaHood in the United States Congress for 14 years, particularly as a fellow appropriator. Uh, it is a quiet, calm oasis of people by individuals who want to run the government of the United States, solve problems, and move this country ahead. Uh, he is a consummate gentleman. Uh, I do consider him a friend. Uh, and he is clearly our leader in the United States of America on issues of transportation. We are lucky. Uh, that he has taken time out of his life to share his thoughts as far as investment in rail with us today. And it is a pleasure to introduce Secretary Ray Lewis. Everyone in this room uh, is a rail enthusiast and uh, a, a job enthusiast and uh, people who want to, to do good in their communities and to really do good for the state and uh, I came here this noon time because uh, my friend Pete Laskowski asked me to come. As Pete said, he and I served uh, on the Appropriations Committee and served together in Congress. He is a Democrat and me as a Republican and we always got along uh, because his vision uh, for his district was the same vision I had for my district in your neighboring state, Illinois, to do what's right for the people, to get things done for the people, to move the country along and to solve problems. Uh, so it's, uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Transportation is the most bipartisan issue in Washington. There are no Republican or Democratic bridges. There are no Democratic or Republican roads. There aren't. What we want to do in the transportation bill is we want to build American transit with American workers. That's what this is about. Just like Europe and Asia are the envy of the world when it comes to passenger rail, well, we're the envy of the world when it comes to freight rail. And we support freight rail. And we have good friends in the freight rail. And we're going to continue to support them. Just about everything we do at DOT is about jobs. That's what I like about what I'm doing. For the last 24 months, Congress gave us $48 billion in the stimulus bill. It created 15,000 projects and 65,000 jobs that would not have been created if it hadn't been for the stimulus bill. And what it did is put your friends and neighbors to work in jobs building roads, building bridges, building transit systems, Midwest Regional Rail Initiative, the, uh, the nine state plan that serves Indiana has a 1.8 cost benefit ratio, which means for every dollar invested, there's a dollar 80 return. It would uh, create more than 15,000 full-time construction jobs each year during the 10 year construction period, and then create more than 58,000 long-term permanent jobs across the region. It uh, would increase earnings in the region by over $5.3 billion. It would increase regional output by $16.9 billion. And it would raise the region's income 
by, one, uh, by over $1 billion per year over the life of the project. That's the type of economic development potential uh, that a, a plan in the Midwest serving the state of Indiana could achieve. Mr. Secretary, the first question, is the Obama administration as supportive of developing our freight rail capacity as they are about high-speed rail passenger service? Uh, the answer in one word is yes. We have the best freight rail system in the world. We want to enhance that. It's the first time any administration has ever paid this much attention to our friends in the freight business. And, second question, what is Indiana doing to position itself to get some of that money? Well, first of all, you're having this meeting. My advice to this region of the country is this. If you get your act together, and I'm going to define that, you will do very well. You're a part of our plan. Please join me in giving Gary Eelman a warm Indiana welcome. Gary. Uh, freight railroads generate nearly $265 billion in total annual economic activity. Freight railroads support 1.2 million jobs. Last year, U.S. freight railroads paid $18 billion in wages and benefits. Last year, freight railroads paid $8 billion in taxes. So we believe in the future of rail transportation, and when I tell you we believe in it, man, we've been, we've been spending money like crazy. We've been integrating EMD and Progress Rail. We've been investing money into Tier 4 locomotives, Tier 3 locomotives. We've been doing repowers. So we're totally committed. This is a company that's committed to rail transportation. Please welcome Dr. Dane Miller. Uh, when, when first asked to speak at a meeting like this on transportation, I thought, what do I know about transportation? And then it dawned on me, I've been in the transportation business my whole career. We put knees and hips in people and get them moving again in probably the most environmentally friendly means of transportation uh, in the world. So uh, that's my connection to transportation. Here we have a chance to improve the flow of freight that benefits our economy and the jobs we have today while we set the stage for a legacy for an infrastructure that will help us far into the future. The challenge, as the Secretary laid it out, is to define what we want in this region and then to go about getting it done.